This is a foot switch. With it, we can add semicolons anywhere we want. We can also play dino with it. With foot. Let's see how. Robotics every day. I am a Python programmer. In Python, we don't require adding semicolons at the end of each line. But the robotics projects require Arduino-based CC++ programming. And in that, the semicolon is mandatory at the end of each line. And I hate doing it. So, I used this foot switch as a big button for a semicolon to be operated from the leg. I know this microcontroller supports circuit python. This foot switch is just a normal switch, but a bigger and stronger version. This foot switch is interfaced with a computer via Arduino Maker GSM1400 board. This board has SAMD21 Cortex M0 32 bit ARM microcontroller, and it sends the command to the computer to print semicolons whenever the switch is pressed. The circuit diagram looks like this. Here the switch is connected to a 1 kilo ohm resistor in a voltage divider configuration. Their junction gives the output. The foot switch has a cable with a 3.5 millimeter audio jack at its terminal. So, we will connect two wires to it, one to the outer part, which will go to the ground, and another to the center of the jack. It will be connected to the junction. We will connect one wire from the junction to the digital pin of the board, and another wire for common ground. It's time to code. First of all, we require the keyboard library. It has all the functions to mimic a real keyboard. In the setup, the switch is connected to the digital pin 3 of the board. The keyboard begin begins the keyboard. In the loop, we are reading the data at the pin. If the switch is pressed, then the pin will be low. If the pin is low, then we will print a semicolon. Now, let's check the digital inputs. Let's see the data at the serial monitor. Normally the output is high, that is 1. When the switch is not pressed. Whenever the switch is pressed. The voltage across the switch becomes 0. So, the output seen is 0. Let's see the serial plot. It reflects the same. Just better to visualize. We can see, when the switch is kept pressed. The output remains low. As we can detect the switch being pressed. Further, we can write any logic based on the press. Let's test the semicolon now. To do so, why not type some code? Serial begin. Some more semicolons. Yeah, that's enough. Serial print. Added semicolon successfully. So, our setup is working fine. It can be used anywhere, not just an Arduino ID. Let's open a notepad. It's working fine, also in the notepad. Let's write the code for up arrow key, so that we can play Chrome Dino. The code and logic for the up arrow key is almost the same. The difference here is, if the switch is pressed, then board mimics, the up arrow key is being pressed, but it keeps the key pressed. So, we have to write this function to release all the keys pressed. Now let's test the up arrow key being pressed by the foot switch. Press the foot switch. Up. We can see that the cursor is moving up whenever the switch is pressed. Yeah, it's working. Now we will play dino with the foot. But, dino is a tough game. So let's play with hand for now. Game over. Game over again. Let's try with the leg. Much better. Now I can play hands-free dino. My COVID positive friend can also play dino on my PC. The keyboard library has a downside. It supports the newer boards. The Arduino Uno is the most popular board. But it does not support the keyboard library. Whereas the newer boards also support CircuitPython. So, the problem of adding semicolons still remains as it is. If you are using older boards. But this project has many advantages. It can be used by disabled to control the computer with the foot. The pets can operate buttons with their paw to request food or water or receive a video call from the owner. We can play games with COVID positive friends without fear of infection. That's all for now. See you again with more robotic technologies. Robotics every day.